I really was longing for more, and I can't even explain what the more was. I was sitting at church, a different church, listening to a man tell his story with a discipleship group that he'd been invited into. And as he was talking, there was like a shift when he said, in the midst of this study and this practice, how he recognized that he had spent his whole life knowing about God. But as he engaged with these other men and in prayer and in the word that he said, I met my Savior there. And I turned to my friend who was sitting next to me and I said, I want that. I want what he's got. It was so different and I can't even explain to you what it was that was different about that, but I knew that he had something that I did not have and that I hadn't been experiencing up till that point. Looking back on it now, 20 years later, I think it was the Holy Spirit was tugging at my heart and saying, you know, there's more of me, there's more of the Lord to know, and I'm inviting you into this, so come. I didn't really know what to do. And at the time, I don't think I had the confidence to ask anybody for help. And so I prayed and I asked and I said, Lord, I want to know you, not just know about you. And I want to spend time with you. And I don't want this to fade like it has in other times. So will you help me? And I just kind of laid it out there like that. And then I took the book that these guys were going to be studying and I started to work through it a little bit on my own. And then with my friend, it wasn't just working through a book. It was engaging in the practices of scripture study, engaging in the practice of prayer. As I stepped into that and started to do that, God started to show me more of who he is. As he did that, then I just wanted more and more. You know, there's a scripture that says, uh, the Lord will fight for you, you only need to be still. I mean, there are times when he asks us, of course, to step out and be active in something, but how often it is, that's what I need to do. I need to just be still before the Lord and bring my concerns to him and that he is trustworthy to care for them and he's trustworthy to show me if there's anything else that I need to do in addition to praying about it. I remember once when I realized I was starting to see my prayer life, my time with the Lord in scripture as kind of, oh, done that, checked off that box and thinking, wait a minute, this isn't what it's supposed to be about and this isn't what I asked for. So again, I prayed and I asked the Lord, okay, what do you want me to do with this? And he said, I want you just to come to me to know me and just to be with me. And if you miss a day, don't worry about it, it's okay. You know, I was reading the Bible in a year at the time and I've determined that since then that I'm probably more of the Bible in a year and a half kind of a person, right? Because I there's always gonna be a day where I'm not gonna get it done. But to recognize that when I'm coming to Him in prayer and the Word, that if I miss a day, it's okay. I'm just gonna come back the next day. I'm not gonna let it stop me. There have been other opportunities, I guess, to step in and learn more about prayer and grow more in prayer. And I haven't taken all of them, but books and retreats, done some work in inner healing prayer, praying with groups like uh, here at Bethel on Tuesdays when we get together and pray. And each of those experiences has helped me grow in my life of prayer and also grow in intimacy with the Lord. And I'm just really thankful for each one of those things because I think that what the Lord has done over these 20 years with all of those opportunities, coupled with daily time, just He and I together, in the word or in, you know, in silence, in listening. He's answering that original prayer that I prayed 20 years ago. Uh, I wanna know you, will you help me? 
and he has. I think just to know and be encouraged that there's always more of God to know. Where one day that might have been um, discouraging to me, now I just find it really encouraging and exciting because it means there's always more. There's always more of him to know.